Okay, ranting time. I just wanted to be like, uh, I just kind of rant right now. So now they're saying that the FBI had, you know, checked into the uh, older brother. And uh, the reason that they're doing this is that the mom ran back to Chechnya. I don't know how they didn't have her locked down a little sooner than this. Runs back to Chechnya and apparently goes into hiding. And then the Russian news reporter agency, uh, the RT, goes over there and asks her questions. And she says, yeah, my boys were living in America. They got into Islam. And then, of course, they basically, um, you know, got involved with the FBI. So what really I think happened was, what happens, let me tell you something. I, I, was, uh, I was trying to get into the CIA back in like 2007 or 8, and basically I went to one of these like little recruiting things, and they happen on the university campus. So I'm, on, I'm at the university campus, and uh, the CIA agents come in there, and we were all sitting down, and there was like one Arab kid in there, Arab American kid, and then basically they're all like, okay, so they had this long discussion, and it made it, everything seem like incompetent, ridiculous, and they were, we, were, we were answering questions. Everybody thought they were going to be James Bond in there. Then they're like, okay, so we're going to start doing interviews. We all lined up, and I get in the line, and then I noticed that the CIA agent went to the Arab kid and said, go to the back of the line. This is before, this is before I was like full-blown, everything, everything's a conspiracy. So the kid goes to the back of the line, the Arab kid, and I'm like, no way. So I went ahead and got out, and I got behind that Arab kid, and I just stood there and I went through the line and I was watching and then went, he just went through people like crazy. Okay, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. And just moved him along. Everybody there trying to get a job. You know what I mean? So it's sad. Then they get to the Arab kid and like, you know, total violation of uh, employment law is just like, you know, hey. And you know, I, I can hear them whispering to each other and I'm standing right behind them and I'm just watching them. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Talking about nationality, talking about language, we got, we're going to hook you up and all that stuff. They, hot, you know, apparently hiring this kid to be met again, you know, or let me, let me just funnel you over here to get, you know, your contact information, etc. Then I come up and he brushes me off. And so I'm just like, okay, so it's apparent to me that what they're looking for are Arabs, Arab Americans, people that they can trust, and that's not surprising. What is not, but it, what is also not surprising is that they would use these as informants to, under the cover of bringing down jihadist, you know, Islamic terrorism, and that they would, uh, that they would uh, use them to, to perform operations. Okay, so that's who these two are, you know. They just had like an Arabic appearance, okay. They're obviously from Chechnya, at which point the CIA or the FBI says, hey, American citizenship, pretend you're Muslims now, and you know, we're going to get you to, you know, infiltrate and, and whatever, be a part of PSYOPs and stuff like that. All right, so ultimately all I'm saying here is, wow, and let's see what happens.